previously, I've told people on this channel, in order to get into vinyl, you really have to spend about 250 bucks to get an entry level turntable that won't damage your records. Now I still recommend that if you have the funds for it, but with good conscience, I could not recommend one of those suitcase players. The number one thing that you need in a starter turntable is the ability to balance the tone arm properly. Now the factory does it for you when it comes to things like Crosley's and Victrola's, but it doesn't balance it right for all records. So that's why when you get a suitcase player or an all-in-one, you notice that some of your records are skipping and ones that should be perfectly fine right out of the gate. That's because a lot of those players, including the Audio-Technica LP60, do not have an anti-skate and counterweight. Those things are needed to fiddle with the tone arm to be able to balance it to make sure your records sound good. And that causes a lot of issues, whether it's wearing too much on the record or actually causing them to skip when they shouldn't. Until now, there wasn't a good option that had those things under a hundred bucks. But recently I was alerted to a turntable called the Heyday. Now, let me just say right now, this is not a sponsored post. I do not have one of these to show you in the video, which is kind of proof that it is not a sponsored post. I just heard about this. I did a bunch of research. I watched some videos. I talked to a friend who has one and I read about it. I can confidently say that this is a turntable that I would be happy to recommend someone getting into vinyl to give them the proper entry level experience before they dive into something more expensive or robust. If you haven't already, it'd be awesome if you'd like this video, hit the red subscribe button, and turn your bell notifications on so you don't miss out on any weekly videos I put out. Now, a lot of you have turntables that are much nicer than this. This video is not for you. This might be something that's good for you to impart onto your friends who want to get into vinyl. In the past, you know, recommending something that's really inexpensive is just going to lead to people churning out because they're not going to understand why vinyl sounds good or they're going to get records that are going to sound bad. The Heyday might be a game changer and it is not a perfect system by any means, but let me tell you what I like and don't like about it. Now, normally I say stay away from any USB player or all-in-one, like I said, or a Bluetooth player. Those extra functionalities are going to just mean that the quality of parts and the overall build are not going to be good enough to play records that sound good. This player actually does have Bluetooth, which is a cool feature if you want to stream your records. Now, that concept alone kind of irks me because streaming your records means that you're digitizing the sound and if you want to listen to anything that has an analog recording, that's going to kind of mix it up and not make it sound as authentic as it should and is the reason why we love vinyl. It's a convenience thing, I get it, but if you're gonna use Bluetooth, I would honestly say just listen to Spotify, right? Cool thing about this turntable is it does have a built-in phono stage. Now, it's not a really high quality one, but you don't need a receiver. You can actually plug speakers directly into this and get going, and that's a really nice feature that a lot of turntables don't have in this price point. The turntable also looks really nice. It has a really good gold trim on it, has some metal pieces to it. I will say that the wood plinth doesn't seem like it's really high quality material by any means, but overall, just on basic aesthetics, I think it looks nice. And the most important part, as I hit home at the beginning of this video, is it has an adjustable counterweight and anti-skate. That means that if you want to replace the cartridge, you can do so and properly weight the tone arm for it. This is a game changer. I mean, not that you're gonna wanna put a $500 cartridge on a $100 turntable, but if you want to upgrade from the stock to maybe something that's a little more expensive to kind of get a little more of that sound coming through the phono stage, you can do that and make sure that the arm works for it. That's something you can't really do on the Audio-Technica LP60 or any of those Crosleys. And truthfully, you cannot beat the price point at $99. I mean, that's not a big investment if someone wants to see what vinyl is all about, and this is a great way to kind of get your toe in the water. Now the cons are it is built a bit cheaply, and the Bluetooth feature is more of a novelty than anything else if you actually want to experience vinyl for what we love it for. I've also heard some reports after doing some deep dives on some forums that the tone arm could be a bit wobbly, and that means that your off-center records could be magnified in how bad they sound, or it could cause some possible skipping issues. So if the arm isn't perfectly calibrated and not just kind of twiddled around so it actually plays the record, it might cause some pitch or skipping issues depending on the build that you get. Probably some are better than others. I'm sure the QC isn't amazing. And there's no speed adjustment. And I've heard some things about the motor sometimes running a bit fast, which means your records play a little faster than they should. That's not something you can fix on this. So if you encounter that problem, that might just be something you gotta deal with. So this thing might not be built to last, but I will say it is light years ahead of anything else in the competition with that price range, even up to the $200 mark. With some minor upgrades, like let's say getting a dedicated phono stage, like a receiver, or upgrading the cartridge, or maybe even changing the felt mat into a rubber mat, this thing could be a pretty powerful, impressive piece for the price point. 
But at that point, when you're putting that much money into it, you might as well just kind of go with the Fluence RT81, which is my pick for the entry level turntable of choice, roughly around 250. I'm excited to be able to say to people now, yeah, you can get a Divinyl, it'll cost you a hundred bucks plus some speakers, and you can kind of see how it works when it comes to the mechanics of it, getting everything situated the way it should sound if you're actually listening through speakers and not Bluetooth. I think the Heyday is a massive step forward in budget options compared to what we've had over the past five years. I think you can only get it at Target. So go check it out. If you're looking to get into vinyl, you just found this channel and you didn't want to spend a ton of money. I think it's a great way to get started. It's not without its faults, but I think for the price, you can't really do better. Please leave a comment with what you think about this turntable. If you've used it or heard about it, I'd love to hear both pros and cons. I haven't used it firsthand. I've only spoken to people who have. So I'd love to hear some more about it. And if you have any other comparable picks, please drop them below. I think this could be a good source of knowledge for people that are just getting into vinyl and not quite sure where to go. And steering people away from the suitcase players is what's most important. Think of the records. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.